Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to spend a little time looking at some books that I recently picked up from one of my local comic shops. And I'm also going to show you some books that I picked up recently that have been optioned by, I think it was Netflix, I think it was Netflix. And this book, this series was actually recommended to me by a subscriber many months ago. I did not pick it up at the time. It honestly wasn't until it was optioned that I actually read the book and realized that it was pretty awesome, uh, despite some interesting language. So we are going to look at those books in just a moment because I'm going to start with the, the haul from the local comic shop first uh, because those books are already unboxed. So we'll take a look at those. Um, this first one is the um, Timeless. I think it's called Timeless Classics from Alex Ross. And this is one of the X-Force books right here featuring Beast. Just a really cool cover. I honestly have not gone overboard with these Alex Ross covers. I think there's like 30 some odd of them out there, 32, 36. That's a lot of covers. And I am resisting the urge to pick them all up, uh, which is a challenge for me because I'd like to have it all. <laughs> and so I'm resisting the urge to pick them all up. Uh, and I, I, I think I'm going to be successful. I think I'm going to be successful. Um, but to that point, to that point of resisting the urge, there was recently a landmark book that came out for Spider-Man, specifically Spider-Man 850 if you're using the legacy numbers, or if you're not, then it's issue 49. I only picked up one copy of this book, and I got the, the variant featuring, of course, the black costume. I'm a black costume guy. Had to get the one with the black costume. This book... Uh, gives me so much happiness and it gives me happiness not because of the the book or the, the story or anything because I have not yet read it what makes me really happy is that Marvel actually did the right thing with this specific book one of the challenges that we have had with Marvel is that they will take a massive book and just bind it like a regular comic book with two staples right in the middle that does not work if you have an oversized book. That results in bindery tears and all kinds of other defects associated with those books because of that production process. They did the right thing for this book. And what, what I mean by that is that they actually did a square bound book. And that is the right thing. My guess is that their profit margins are a little bit lower. The square bound Marvel was the right move. So thank you very, very much for doing that. Um, the book is perfect. No bindery tears to be seen. Unlike Amazing Spider-Man 800, which you guys have heard me talk about many, many times in my various videos. Uh, not from an anger issue, but from a we need to do better. You should do better. You know better kind of thing. And they did it. They did it with this one. So hats off to Marvel for that. Um, this next book uh, is, is a title that I have been reading since issue one, and I don't know who recommended this one to me. My guess is that one of you did, because I don't know that I would have picked this one up had it not been for a subscriber. So I want to thank whoever it was, and if you remember telling me about this book, put it down in the comment section so I can acknowledge you. Uh, but this book right here is Far Sector. This is Far Sector issue number seven. And again, I've been reading this from issue number one. This is an awesome Green Lantern book. An awesome Green Lantern book. I tell you, I enjoyed this read. Um, it is it is written by, a, I think, a pretty solid writer. I don't know how long she's been in the industry, but I enjoy her writing. I enjoy the dialogue. I enjoy the storytelling. Um, this is a good book. And I also picked up uh, issue number eight. And what's interesting is that her ring, this Green Lantern's ring, is actually uh, a, it's a different type of Green Lantern's ring. It's not the same as all of the others. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of interesting in that. I mean, I wish I had uh, a more in-depth understanding of the other Green Lantern's rings and where their powers come from. 
um, to be able to compare and contrast, but I do know that it is not like the other rings. I do know that, and I don't want to go into detail about how hers is different because that will steal some of the joy when you actually pick this title up for yourself and give it a read. Uh, speaking of joyous titles, we only find them when they're dead. I have to read it or else I will never remember it. Al Ewing, you, sir, are killing the game. Uh, we only find them when they're dead. Issue number two from Boom Studios. Fantastic read. I am digging this story. I, after reading issue number one, thought we were going to find them alive because that's basically where issue number one led you to believe that issue number two was, hey, we're going to find them alive. That did not happen in this issue, but I am still enjoying it. Al's going to stretch it out just a little bit, right? Uh, but this was this is a good book. Uh, the, these first issue, I'm sorry, the, the A cover seemed to always have the writing over them probably because no one can remember the title. So you can't really see any of the artwork back there because of the words dominating the screen. Um, so I, the screen, the cover. So I also tend to pick up uh, one of the, the variant covers. Uh, and I don't even know which one this is, but it's a little ghoulish and it's blue and it's nice. So I went ahead and snagged that one. And then um, two more books here. I picked up Marauders issue number 13. Uh, I am thoroughly enjoying like X-Force, the Marauders, uh, sort of X-Men. I'm still reading it. Um, but this is one. The Marauders is one that I enjoy along with Hellions. I'm enjoying those. So let me set those off to the side as I show you the very last book. This is Thor issue uh, number eight. And again, fantastic read. This, this right here is a stack, by and large, of some really awesome titles, uh, with the exception maybe of one, uh, which we're not going to talk about, but some really, really good reads. So set that off to the side. All right. So let's go ahead and open up this box. And uh, some of you that pay attention and watch my show on a regular probably have already guessed uh, specifically what... This is in this box because I've actually spoken about it a few times uh, during various live streams. I uh, preempted myself by talking about it in advance, but uh, nevertheless, here we go. We're going to open this one up and I'll show you guys uh, what it is that I was able to uh, to pick up. And um, let's see how they did that. Put a little business card in there. That's cool. A little card stock. That's cool. I may have to do that. That's nice. Some nice card stock. That's cool. I dig. I dig stuff like that. Have some good branding. I respect it. As a marketer, I respect it. All right. So let's see what we have here. Uh, this is... Are we missing something? Oh, we may have to, uh, let me see. We may have an issue. We may have an issue. There is a good thing uh, about recording my videos live. We'll have to go back to look at the listing because this is, I don't think, everything that I ordered. So... Again, it's a good thing that, um, that I record these because we have documentation of the actual unboxing. So we will go back and look at it. Uh, here is, ish, here is uh, chapter three, issue three of Black. And I will tell you that uh, this, this series uh, has some very interesting imagery on the covers. It also has some language that I honestly do not agree with. I'll, I'll be completely frank about that. It's not language that I use, but if you can set that aside, this is actually not a bad read. This is, uh, again, issue uh, number three right here. Here is issue number four. So again, some pretty, um, pretty interesting commentary, <laughs> social commentary that is being made on these covers. Uh, but again, it's it's not a bad read. This is uh, number five right here. And then lastly, this is issue uh, number six. So these are not in fantastic shape. Like these are not 9.8s. I will tell you that uh, there were several listings available online 
and uh, I struggled with some of the asking prices. So more than anything else, I wanted to have the books in the collection, uh, not necessarily for the purpose of resale or for the purpose of grading. I enjoyed the read, and so I wanted to, as a collector, to have the books in the collection. Uh, and again, we may have to do a little bit of follow-up with the seller because I feel like there are some things that are missing, like uh, issue one and two, <laughs> but we will go back to the listing to confirm if I made a mistake or if a mistake was made. But I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section. If you need to reach out to me, you can do that on Instagram at Reggie Collects, R-E-G-I-E Collects. Or you can send me an email to Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care.